Hey guys, welcome back. Just another quick one today here about my switch from the Mac over to this Linux machine, Linux Mint 21. Um, I've done all the latest updates and such and, and things have improved a tiny bit. So one thing I wanted to look at today was the trouble that I had with Bluetooth. Um, let's open up the Bluetooth manager. So if we just type blue up there, we can click that. Let me drag this over where you guys can see it. I bought this Optiplex, this Dell Optiplex. Uh, it's a nice machine. It's a great machine. I love it. Uh, got 16 gigs of RAM, powerful CPU, uh, runs amazing, edits video amazing. So, but the problem is it didn't have the Bluetooth Wi-Fi module in it. Now, Wi-Fi is not a big deal for me. I have wired networking right here at my uh, desk. So I just plug it in wired, but Bluetooth is kind of a big deal. Like I want to be able to play music and these speakers behind me, it's probably, you can't see, but um, I want to be able to play music while I'm working. And so Bluetooth is kind of a big deal. So I, I had to Google around and find out what was a good Bluetooth module for, for Linux, right? Because you never really know. Well, it turns out this Panda uh, BT 4.0, I'll link it below in the description, I bought on Amazon, it works absolutely perfect. And it will show up right here as IBT08. Now, you will have some some issues connecting depending on what your devices are, right? I guess it is, but but I, I got mine all figured out. I have a little Bluetooth module on the amplifier back here that's hooked to uh, my DIY speakers I make videos about. You can check those out also on this channel. But it actually ended up pretty easy. I had trouble at first, couldn't get things to connect right, couldn't do that, but it, anyway, there wasn't anything I really had to do other than update, I think. Once I got some updates in, everything just started kind of cranking along. Hasn't been a problem since. So um, let's just go to when we open up this Bluetooth manager, we'll see our devices. Uh, I can double click this and we'll say it's connecting, but it's not going to connect for me because this module I have over here, and I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture of it above so you guys can see it, seems to go to sleep on me. So let me let me go wake that thing up and then we'll reconnect. Now I also bought that on Amazon a long time ago, but it is awake now. Okay, it is awake and you can see it actually auto-connected uh, right here. So now I can play my music, I can, I can watch videos, I can do all that good stuff straight back from, from the amplifier behind me. Um, again, once, once you get past all the little quirks, I'll call it, um, it's fine. Uh, by the time, if you're if you're installing Linux Mint 21 right now, by the time you update, this is probably all going to work flawlessly for you. Uh, it was just certain ones that I had problems with at the very beginning. Um, anyway, guys, just just a quick one. This Bluetooth manager is great. I love it. Um, finds the uh, Panda Bluetooth module just fine. Again, I'll link the Panda module down below in case you're looking for one that actually works that I was able to get working. Um, I'll link that below on Amazon. It's it's really cheap. I think it was maybe fifteen dollars. It was super cheap. So anyway, guys, uh, just a quick one. Uh, had some trouble with it. I'll see if I can. I I made a video about this before before the updates. But I, I got to find that footage. I'm not sure where it went. I had a lot of trouble um, getting getting connections to work. But uh, again, with, with, when the Bluetooth update came out, everything was good. So anyway, guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing. If you want to see the whole, I have a playlist made where I've been switching from my Mac over to Linux Mint 21 as my main station uh, to replace my Mac. So if you want to see that, I got a ton of videos out there on this. I make some quite a bit. So uh, just little ones like this on, on the problems I ran into. But I love, I love this Linux. I love it. Um, I'm going to do some videos about how I back up my files cron tab all that good stuff kind of you know the old style stuff the old linux stuff that i used to do um, we're going to get into some of that too so anyway that's all for today guys thanks for watching see you next time